I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you don't know about Siamese Mahjong yet, this is when you play two hands at one time against one opponent. The rules have been modified from the four player game to make it very challenging and a lot of fun. Look for links in the video description below for those rules. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls and we'll alternate between player one and player two. As player one, you get 28 tiles. Player two, 27. We have a flower, north and west. We have red, white, and green dragons. There's a pung of green dragons. Here we have one, two, five, seven, eight, nine pairs of sevens and eights in our cracks. Then with bams, we have two, three, nine, and we have lots of dots. One, two, three, five pairs of threes and fives. Then we have seven, eight, nine. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for the concealed odd hand and then a year hand with dragons. And I think I would keep the winds because there's a wind and dragon hand. This is how I'd play it. Concealed one, three, five, five, seven, nine. We have the singles and the pairs. So we would just need to build up the five and the nine and add a drag a flower. And then up here, I think I would try to play a year hand with dragons. Of course, we're gonna need flowers. The dragon hand with the year would only require two though. Even news with dragons would require just a pair of flowers. So I would hold this as joker bait, discard these first. Here, we picked a hand right away. Sometimes you can do that because you have so many tiles. We have no gaps. Singles and pairs secured. Up here, we're between categories, winds and dragons and the year. So that can develop. This could be a winner though. Here we have a joker, pair of flowers, red and white dragon, east and south. In cracks, we have one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. Dots, one, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, singles. Bams, pair of ones, two, four, six, eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would leverage the multiples, the eights and the ones. I would play like numbers with ones 
and then five through nine in mixed suits. like numbers with ones with or without these dragons we do have some potential for two four six eight but we have far more consecutive tiles we have seven eight here we have an eight and a six here and a nine there's a concealed hand, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. We would need a seven bam. We do have all the eights. We have only one three. I was thinking maybe we could play one, three, five, but we have only one three and one five. I was thinking maybe we could play like numbers with eights up here and one, three, five, but I think we could even do five, six, seven, eight. There's just so much more flexibility with consecutive tiles because we have only two multiples in here. I think I would go with this plan to leverage both of them because eights and ones don't go together. Because we have, let's see, we have seven discards. I think I would even keep maybe the twos and this three because we could maybe play one, two, one, two, three concealed. So I think that I would keep these and start by discarding those. There's another thing we could do. Single pair Pung Kong with flowers. That's the sixth hand down under consecutive run. And then we would discard these. So I think that confirms that these are definite discards. We've got different plans up here. for like numbers with ones and the flowers, or one, two, one, two, three concealed, and then that would free up these flowers for single pair Pung Kong. We could also do five, six, seven, eight. If we get a seven dot, we could play three consecutive pairs. Actually, it would be, yeah, five, six, seven. No, I was thinking about the nine dot. We would need nine bam, which we don't have. I would not play, I would not focus on the fourth hand down. I was just thinking if we could use consecutive tiles. This I think is pretty strong and this is not bad. There's no gaps. So between this one and this one, we picked a hand, but I think there needs to be flexibility. So that's why I would keep the ones, the dragons, and all the consecutive tiles around the eight. We have a pair of flowers, green and white, east and west. 
Here we have lots of cracks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pair of fives. For dots, we have one, three, four, six, eight, nine pair of ones, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in BAMs with a pair of sevens. With these tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would divide and conquer with consecutive run. Three, four, five in one hand, seven, eight, nine in another. So what we have is for one option, four, five pair hand, four, five, four, five, we're light here, we need a five, four, five pair hand, that's one option. We could also do the concealed hand, three, four, three, four, five. Three, four, three, four, five. So there are options. I would just gather, maybe play the pair hand. If not the pair hand, the concealed hand. Then down here, same thing. We have seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. We need a seven dot. But we could play a pair hand there too. Or same hand. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Same situation, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, wait, wrong tile. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So the sixes might be good for discards. Let's put these with discards. Focus on seven, eight, nine, and three, four, five. Look, there's an equal distribution there. We have two flowers, so we would need more flowers. If we play the concealed hand for either of these, I would use this as joker bait. So I would discard these first. I would probably start with the winds, then the dragons, and then the sixes. There is one, three, three, five, but that would mean a lot of discards. All these fours and one of the fives would go away. So we would have to for example, let's say we use that down there and play one, three, five, one, three, three, five, pick a hand. All those would be discards. Look at all those discards for one, three, five. Even though there are no gaps and we still could potentially play that, I would rather go for a pair hand, gather, stay flexible, maybe play a pair hand. So I would think about one, three, three, five. That might need to go. I think that's what I would do though. I would probably even keep the sixes for a little while just to see what comes in. Siamese Mahjong is very flexible, but it can be intense because two players are making decisions on two hands, but because there's just two of you, it can make for a very quick game. Online, you have one minute to make a decision between picks and discards. In a live game, you can take all the time you need within reason. Sometimes when you get that dealt hand, 
you might even be able to pull together a made hand. Sometimes these hands take some time to build. One of the key things about Siamese Mahjong is making sure that you have the most points at the end of the game. Sometimes that can mean a pair hand with a regular 25 point hand. It could mean maybe a pure hand and a 25 point hand. You could maybe have a quint and a 25 point hand or any combination of those. Or you could plan to double Mahjong. You get double value for both hands. If you wanna know more, there's a link in the video description below to how to play the game and how to score. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. Thank you.